Capitol Forum. Yeah. 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 Please stand for the presentation of colors. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this wonderful day. We thank you for this opportunity to uh, share in Tristan's eagle ceremony, and we just uh, ask that you bless and anoint his life. Bring lots of joy into it and help him to continue on in his faith and uh, bless his family and everyone here. We just thank you for everything that you've given us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Please have the Eagle Escorts, Mike and Josh Benz, escort Tristan to the front. Please be seated. Sorry. Tristan, as you began your trail to Eagle what, five years ago, you uh, began, began the trail and you promised to follow the scout law. Please turn and face your senior patrol leader and he will read you the scout law and reinforce the meaning of the words of the law. A scout is trustworthy. A scout tells the truth. He keeps his promises. Honesty is part of his code of conduct. People can depend on him. A scout is loyal. A scout is true to his family, scout leaders, friends, school, and nation. A scout is helpful. A scout is concerned about other people. He does things willingly for others without pay or reward. Understands their strength in being gentle. 
He treats others as he wants to be treated. He does not hurt or kill harmless things without reason. A scout is obedient. A scout follows the rules of his family, school, and troop. He obeys the laws of his community and country. If he thinks these rules and laws are unfair, he tries to have them changed in an orderly manner rather than disobey them. A scout is cheerful. A scout looks for the bright side of things. He cheerfully does tasks that may come his way. He tries to make others happy. A scout is thrifty. A scout works to pay his way and to help others. He saves for unforeseen events. He protects and conserves natural resources. He carefully uses time and property. A scout is brave. A scout can face danger, even if he is afraid. He has the courage to stand for what he thinks is right, even if others laugh at or threaten him. A scout is clean. A scout keeps his body and mind fit and clean. He goes around with those who believe in living by the same ideals. He, keeps, keep, he helps keep his home and community clean. A scout is reverent. A scout is reverent towards God. He is faithful in his religious duties. He respects the beliefs of others. and you are tempted to remain in vast and first-class glory. But your past accomplishments and the growth of your character spurred you on. The light of your scout spirit had grown bright indeed. You found the trail from first class had been an optical illusion, not so difficult as it had first seemed. This inspired you to push onward, to climb higher. But fewer scouts seem headed in your direction. You looked back and saw crowds below you. You looked up and saw very few above. Yet with the same determination as you started your climb, now enhanced by experience and firm resolve, you continue to push up the trail, and soon you're on the ledge of Star Scouts. I am a star. Now that I can stand alone, I have the right to improve on my own. To me goes the honor of choosing my field. Before me lies a horizon of endless opportunities. The path behind you was bright with your accomplishments. The rank of eagle was becoming dimly lit in the distance. Now the trail was steeper and much less traveled. The path was becoming lonely. You found it harder to demonstrate continued growth of your character and your scout spirit because you were growing out of your boyhood stage. You now had to show that you had an understanding of your responsibilities as a citizen and a member of our society and a willingness to accept those responsibilities. You also found that your school homework was becoming a serious and conflicting problem. Yet both scout work and homework must be done well. You solved this problem by learning one of the more important lessons of scouting, the need to ration and utilize your time efficiently and effectively. It is a lesson all must learn. With determination, you continued your climb up the trail. And finally, you are standing with the Life Scouts. I am the Life. I have shown the whole world that scouting is in my heart. I have mastered the knowledge of subjects that will benefit my country and my fellow man. I am ready to reach for my wings to fly. As the heart badge was placed on your uniform, I am sure you will never forget the thought in your heart. It has been experienced by most scouts on life's peak. You thought, now I am close to the eagle's nest. I must and I will carry on. While the life scout is a much coveted position and deserves much credit, the eagle trail does not stop there. It still leads on to the summit. Its pathway narrows and steepens considerably as it winds its way along the narrow ledge. It becomes tougher and more trying. Fewer and fewer young men have the perseverance and sense of selfless service to others to reach the higher ranks. At the summit of Life Scout, you had but few comrades. On your further climb toward Eagle, the trail was lonelier yet. The physical requirements are strenuous and the mental standards are high. Many things have to be done in order to conquer these last miles. Additional merit badges were earned. Your leadership and service to others were tested through your Eagle service project. But along the way, you are gaining in stature, physically, mentally, and morally. On your way to Eagle, you discovered that only those with the greatest amount of persistence and courage are able to gain this thrill of victory. I am the Eagle. Since the beginning of time, 
man has used my brothers and me as a symbol of royalty, power, victory, and valor. My strength and courage has inspired men throughout the ages. We have watched your character unfold and become manlier. We have watched your leadership expand into a valuable asset. We have watched your mind develop and your wisdom increase. We have watched you change and grow, and this growth was necessary, as the most important requirement for evil is the personal character of a scout as reflected in the ideas of scouting. These you have demonstrated by your cooperation and service to others in the home, at school, in the community, as well as within the troop. Yes, we have watched all these things in you, and now that you are on the threshold of your goal, we welcome you, for you have done your climbing in a true scout-like manner. For those of you that don't know, most of you already do, the Holes have a bit of a history in scouting, so we're going to have a few of them come up and present uh, Tristan with some of his awards. First off, I'd like to invite Tristan's grandfather, Scoutmaster Emeritus of Troop 2222, to come up and present him with his Eagle Bank. And of course, along with that, was a big hug. <laughs> uh, I'm Ron Hall. I'm obviously Tristan's uncle. I'm also assistant scoutmaster for Troop 2222, and on behalf of Mark Barton, our scoutmaster, and the rest of the scouts of Troop 2222, we'd like to congratulate you for the rank of Eagle. Also, Steve. Do we have the basketball so that Tristan can make a hundred straight free throws to finish up the final rank of the show? Apparently wait, because we didn't want to be here until tomorrow, wait for that achievement to be completed. That'll be a rough achievement. Yeah, that'll be a lot. Uh, Tristan, I have the honor to give you this Eagle Scout charge on the occasion of your elevation to the highest rank of Scout. Uh, Boy Scouts of all nations constitute one of the most wholesome and significant movements in the world's history, and you have been counted worthy in this high rank in the Boy Scouts of America. All who know you rejoice in your achievement. Your position, as you well know, is one of honor and responsibility. And now you are a marked man. As an Eagle Scout, you have assumed a solemn obligation to do your duty to God, to your country, to your fellow Scouts, and to all of mankind. This is a great undertaking. As you live up to your obligations, you bring honor to yourself and to your brother Scouts. America has many good things to give you and your children after you. But these things depend for the most part on the quality of our citizens. Our country has had a great past, and you are here to make the future even greater. Tristan, I charge you to undertake your citizenship with a solemn dedication. Be a leader, but lead only towards the best. Look up every task you do and every office you hold to the high level of service to God and to your fellow man. 
I charge you to be among those who dedicate their skills and abilities to the common good. <coughs> Build America on the solid foundations of clean living, honest work, unselfish citizenship, and reverence for God, and you will leave behind a record of which every scout may be justly proud. Congratulations. <laughs>
and he grew to be a man. Congratulations on earning the rank of Eagle Scout. We hope you take tremendous pride in the hard work and commitment to service that brought you to this moment. This achievement speaks to your role as a young leader in your community. We encourage you to continue taking on new projects, setting a positive example, and striving to make a difference. Young people like you give us great hope for the future, and we wish you all the best. So seriously, Ms. Mr. and Mrs. Brock Obama. Dear Tristan, congratulations Tristan on achieving the Eagle Scout Award. This is quite a noteworthy accomplishment. The veterans of foreign wars is a strong supporter of the Boy Scouts and we take pride in recognizing deserving young men like you. Keep up the outstanding work and good luck with your future and whatever goals you may hope to achieve. Sincerely, John W. Stroud. Uh, this is a commendation from the city of Palmdale. It says, whereas Tristan, a member of the Boy Scouts of America, Troop 145, has achieved the highest honor in Boy Scouts, the rank of Eagle Scout. And whereas, in order to attain this rank, Tristan was an active member of Troop 145, demonstrated that he lived by the pr principles of the Scout Oath and Law in his daily life, earned a total of 52 merit badges prior to his 16th birthday, and satisfactorily developed and demonstrated his leadership ability and carried out an Eagle Scout service project which benefited his community. And, whereas, Tristan has been a member of the Boy Scouts of America since January 2010, was a Cub Scout for two years, a Weeblow Scout for two years, and earned the Arrow of Light Award, and whereas Tristan achieved the rank of First Class Scout on December 9th, 2010, achieved the rank of Star Scout on June 9th, 2011, achieved the rank of Life Scout on February 9th, 2012, and achieved the Bronze Palm on March 5th, 2015, and whereas, while a Life Scout, Tristan served as a Senior Patrol Leader. Now, therefore, I, James C. Ledford, Jr., Mayor of the City of Palmdale, on behalf of the entire City Council, do hereby commend and extend our sincere congratulations to Tristan Nicholas Hull for his achievements in attaining the rank of Eagle Scout. Further, we extend our best wishes for continued success in all future endeavors. Signed, James C. Ledford, Jr., Mayor of Palmdale. Dear Tristan, congratulations on receiving the Eagle Scout rank. It is quite an honor to obtain such a high rank with the Boy Scouts of America. Your hard work and efforts are most appreciated, and we are proud to have people like you in our society. Keep up this wonderful trait of community service. And if we can be of any assistance to you in the future, please do not hesitate to contact us. Congratulations again. Sincerely, sincerely, Jonathan Thompson, Thompson Executive Director. And that was from the National Sheriff's Association. Dear Tristan, I was recently informed of your outstanding accomplishment earning the rank of Eagle Scout. You have demonstrated the highest qualities of leadership and moral character in your pursuit and attainment of the Eagle Scout rank. You can be proud of your start as a future leader. Naval officers, aviators, and crew are highly disciplined individuals who abide by a code of ethics similar to those of the Boy Scouts, honor, courage, and commitment. They must be prepared at all times to perform their duties to support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies. 
As you progress through school, remember all the challenges met and merit badges earned for receiving this prestigious award. Maintain the skills, values, and self-confidence instilled in you by the Boy Scouts, for these qualities will serve you well in your quest for greater service to your family and your community. Good luck in your future endeavors, and I wish you much, much success. Sincerely, Tom Frosch. And that's from the, the Blue Angels from the Navy. Um, this is from the Hershey's Company. Dear Eagle Scout Tristan Nicholas Hall, for generations, the name Hershey has been synonymous with fine chocolate products throughout the country and around the world. Uh, the Hershey story began on September 13, 1857, when Milton Snape Lee Hershey was born on a farm near Dairy Church, a small central Pennsylvania community. He was the only surviving child of Fanny and Henry Hershey. The more you know. Um, Mr. Hershey was a doer, not a philosopher. He never wrote about and seldom spoke of his beliefs. Nevertheless, he obviously thought a lot about such matters as success and the value and purpose of money. Throughout his life, I don't know where this is going. Throughout his life, he was committed to the highest standards of quality, honesty, fairness, and integrity. His imagination and drive, his ceaseless labor, and his care and concern for others were an inspiration to all who worked with him. That legacy continues to be the foundation of our company's business philosophy to this day. Milton Hershey was the rarest of men, both a dreamer and a builder. He had the genius to develop his chocolate business in the right place at the right time. His personal convictions about the obligations of wealth and the quality of life in the town he founded have created a living legacy. It continues to this day throughout his company and the community which bears his name and at the Milton Hershey School to which he left his entire fortune. The Hershey Company recognizes the hard work, persistence, and courage required to be an Eagle Scout and congratulates you on this accomplishment. An Eagle Scout shares the values of honesty, hard work, fairness, and integrity that guided Mr. Hershey in the way he conducted business and lived oh, his life. Eagle Scout. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> 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 what a commercial that is. <laughs> Again, for those of you that don't know what most of you do, to attain the rank of Eagle, a scout needs to plan, coordinate, and execute a project that's a benefit to the community. Kristen's project was the, the uh, community club, and I'd like to, like to invite our uh, community club representative, Mr. Vinick, up here to read his letter from the club. Dear Tristan, the Atkin Community Center is pleased to honor you for your accomplishment of becoming a Scout as a member of its Boy Scout Troop 145. We have established a permanent plaque in the community building which lists all Eagle Scouts from your troop. Your name will be added and will be there for you to visit with family and friends. Someday you may bring your children to see your name displayed there with fellow Eagle Scouts. We are also grateful to you for amazing Eagle Scout project you built for the center. Your presentation was very professional and the results exceptional. As you know, the Acton Community Center is the official home of the Boy Scouts Troop 145, available to your troop and other youth groups your free of charge for your meetings and activities. The fact that you chose your project to enhance the center showed your support for your scouting home. It is our pleasure to be part of your growth. Best of success as you continue on your journey. Cordially, Calvin Moldesby, President, Acton Community Club. Thank you. I'd like to now invite Sergeant Michael Bruce from the United States Marine Corps to come up and present Tristan on the flight. Thank you. 
flag down and then come back up. Now it's your turn to talk. Thank you. <laughs> um, I want to thank everyone here for showing up. And if you showed up, you basically helped me. So I want to thank everyone here for helping me through my journey. It really helped me grow. Grew. Grow. Uh, so grow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, I think I grew up to be okay. Um, but, okay. But that was all because of the people here, and I thank you for that, helping me grow my, into the person I am right now. And hopefully, you help me grow <laughs> as I grow up. So thank you. <laughs> Your father would like to uh, come up and say some words to you. Who? As assistant third your seat, your Scoutmaster, Mr. Hall. Thank you for that one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Achieving Eagle Scout is uh, not the end. Um, it's similar to earning a black belt, it's just the beginning. You just barely scratched the surface. Uh, we will be utilizing Tristan uh, for as many years as uh, I possibly can uh, in the uh, developing of our youth that are coming into the troop. i uh, seen some of them out here today, some of the young ones. Uh, he'll be working. He's not going to be sitting idly by. Uh, part of that working is also continuing to culture and develop himself. And in that process, an Eagle Scout can earn what we call palms. Uh, an Eagle Palm can be earned every three months. Uh, and you earn it by time, and dedication, uh, commitment, and hard work with the troop, and by merit badges. He will have to continue to work to earn merit badges in order to earn palms. So uh, Tristan has already, <coughs> as Eagle Scout, earned his first palm, which is a bronze palm, and I'm going to present that to him today. <coughs> <laughs> Amazing to see him walk on the trail of going non-stop, being at the front of all the boys from the little thing that couldn't even walk around Edwards Air Force Base without uh, passing out. <laughs> remember that? We all remember that. <laughs> uh, would you all please rise for the uh, retirement of the coach.
Okay, so this is Tristan Nicholas Hull. Okay, today you became an Eagle Scout. Actually, it was in December. Today oh, it was? Okay. We're just, we're just celebrating it today. Okay, and um, how was it? Was it a, a long journey or what? It was definitely a long journey. I got it before, usually in a shorter time than others, but it was just as hard. So it's, it was a long journey, but I learned a lot. So okay. I got a lot of what are you most proud of? Uh, what do you mean? Um, is there a badge or a project that you well, knew took a little extra? I'm most proud of the way that I developed my skills. Really all the badges, everything I had to work for helped me to be who I am. So I'm most proud of being a good leader, being a good citizen, helping people out. That's what I'm proud of. Terrific. Congratulations. Hey, you've got a bright journey ahead of you. Yeah.